Russian Shakespeare, the son of Russian poetry, he is our all. And tomorrow we are going to visit uh, Catherine's Palace, which is located in the town, which is called Pushkin. Pushkin. So this is the famous and Pushkin. And here's uh, one of his most his famous statues. And it's funny that uh, it uh, was designed by architect uh, Anikushin and uh, the same architect, he made a statue of Lenin. Hello, uh, Kano Palace. Uh, it's Michael's palace. It was a palace of Grand Duke Michael. He was the son of Russian Tsar uh, Paul I. In Russian history we have Tsars. And, uh, but they had a lot of relatives. Uh, cousins. Uh, and double head eagle because Russia were a huge country. One head he looks to the east, another head he looks to the west. Still do a record video. So this is inside the Ethnography Museum in St. Petersburg. This museum was placed in Vasilevsky Island. Uh, but this composition was opened in contemporary time and mm -hmm. it's a past small taxes to international Jewish organizations okay. was a rule to display Jewish things. What's <laughs> the number uh, two? It's Magdalatistan, uh, Bukhara. Now it's uh, uh, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, it, really now in St. Petersburg and Moscow you can see a lot of uh, people, not typical Russian Slavian yes. looking, uh, they uh, occupy some low quality jobs. Uh, a lot of them, they settle in Russia because really there are no job places. And it's the beginning of 20th century. Uh, really, uh, everything in Jewish life uh, changed extremely during the reign of Alexander II. A uh, little bit later, I think I... So this is the Church of the Spilt Blood where Alexander II was murdered, the Tsar, he was blown up, his legs were blown off. Peter Gusti Gusti, нашего города, мы приглашаем вас на часовую увлекательную прогулку по рекам и каналам Санкт-Петербурга. Катер отправляется через несколько минут. Река Мойка, Зимняя Канавка, вся парадная Нева. Uh, 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 just if you count bridges and tell me how many bridges uh, did you count, I can tell you the name of this area. Okay. <laughs> Here is the bell tower of this cathedral, and this building also is a part. It's a co complex of this cathedral. Wow. We have we have a home synagogue. They rent uh, space in one building. It's nice, but it's not so very popular, really. Uh, Jews in Russia, not religious Jews, if they decide to go to synagogue, of course, uh, for them synagogue is Chabad. Of we are spending Sukkot in Russia. Sukkot relates. <laughs> yeah, this is Sukkot. In the, in the great synagogue. Uh, and you know Peter's that uh, it's choral synagogue. So this is the uh, children's playroom um, with computers and football in the Jewish community center. So this is the Holocaust Memorial in Pushkin, which is outside of St. Petersburg.
was privileged to have a dinner with a Russian princesses. And they had to take seats according to their military narrow doors. And uh, if you look in part, you have an illusion of really endless space. Illusion of infinity. But, right. uh, The glass. Uh, just look on the color wallpaper, you know everything. It was a green crimson. Now you see, oh, she is the knowledge and you can look at this. And then the next space is different. And sometimes it matters. Matt will shine. And here's a uh, pictures uh, gallery. Pictures gallery. Uh, in every palace, of course, uh, existed pictures gallery. Art collection uh, all over the world. And they bought really everything. For them it wasn't so important what did they buy. Uh, they bought some masterpieces, they bought some rubbish. This is all part of Catherine Palace. So this building was for small musical concerts. So this is called the Hermitage, and it's where they would have private dinners and parties. So there's a magic table where the dinner is up on the second floor, the table goes down to the first floor where the servants would set it, and then an elevator brings the table back up. Because all the previous ones were not czars, they were not called czars, they were called grand princes. But I brought you this to show you how complex Russian history is. So in a sense, uh, and I mean, it's, it's hard to So this is the large square by Peter Paul Fortress. So now we're in the Peter Paul Cathedral where all the czars, except for a few, were buried. where the czar would stand during the service. This is and Peter the Great. Peter the Great. So different height, never met. So that's why Peter the Great is buried. This is Peter the Great. He died in 1725. Catherine the Great. So in Russian history, Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, and three out of five children. The green one is Alexander II. He was assassinated. In 1881. This one is Alexander III. And the mother Maria. And these were the parents of Nicholas the Second. And their son Alexander the First. So this is part of the Peter Paul Fortress in St. Petersburg. And this is the the uh, gate of death. Building with white columns, the first private museum of Catherine the Great. So then she bought more in the St. Isaac's Cathedral. The Shuvalovs. So there were very many uh, famous members in this family. The most famous couple, Dmitri, 19th century. Maria, besides being a very rich and very beautiful lady, was, let's call her, an official, official mistress of Russian Emperor Alexander I. So she had five children. So first of all, many people think that Karl Faberge was a French. He was Russian, he was born in St. Petersburg. His family left France long ago in the 17th century. They moved to Germany and then they moved to Estonia. 
and in 1842 his father opened a very small, very insignificant jewelry company. So when he died, he's some, uh, this is so-called Moscow School, and you can see some of the objects which were made by Karl Faberge contemporary, 15 years. And he restored so-called Scythian gold. Do you understand? Nomadic tribes gold. <coughs> So well, this egg is missing, but most of the historians believe that this egg is the surprise for the Renaissance egg. But there is no proof. Coronation robes of Nicholas and Alexandra. So very beautiful enamel. You can see a little bit of uh, diamonds. And the surprise for this coronation husband, Nicholas II, ladies of the valley. So first of all, it was her favorite flower. Look at this beautiful color of the egg itself. They called it. So they usually pack hundreds and hundreds of souvenirs to give them away to their relatives, to their friends, and you can see some of them here. So Karl Faberge was the first one who started making expensive souvenirs as well. He was the first one who started making expensive picture frames, photo frames, using glass, using diamonds, and rock crystal as well. And the uh, uh, jade, remember, you see on the top of the boxes, especially in this showcase. So in Russian, Russian Orthodox style, you can see that most of them are beautiful, decorated with gold, with diamonds, river pearls are very popular. And I would like to show you the picture. It was built as a memorial place to commemorate a tragic event. The assassination of Russian emperor, his name was Alexander II. If the first church was designed in so-called Petersburg style, so church on steel blast was built to imitate the old Russian church. It's very similar to the church you will see in Moscow, in Red Square. Uh, in back is a very old church. This is where Alexander III was killed in 1881. <laughs> So it was Alexander II that was assassinated on the street right here. But not today. This is the Hermitage Museum when it's first opening. There's nobody here with the first ones there. So this is our new point. This is the Grand Imperial Staircase of the Winter Palace. And welcome to the Winter Palace. So Winter Palace was the winter home of the Russian royal family. The Romanovs lived here. The palace was built. So this is the original imperial staircase. So pretty much everything you see around is original. Unlike summer palaces, for example, Pity Hall. It was the times of Russian Emperor Nicholas I. So he ordered restoration, but by that time, the rock style just boldly became out of fashion. So most of the rules were... This is Peter the Great's memorial hall. Yes. Uh, double so headed eagle. And this is a portrait of Peter the Great. So all the objects around, including the chandelier, are made of silver. And there are two paintings representing so this is the military room. And this is one of the best examples of classical style. So look at the beautiful ceiling. It looks like a plaster molding, right? But it's not, so the ceiling is painted. You can see the original floors. So this hall was used the main hall, which we're going to see in the most famous sneakers in Russian history. I'm talking about the war with Napoleon. You know the name of Leo Tolstoy, who put in various kinds of precious goods, organy, ebony, all the reverse, the mountains, and so on. Of course, everything gets darker and older, and so that's why they have to close this room or that room to polish the floors, to put one more layer of lacquer, which is a 
The clock and the tail opens. The knife, which was destroyed by one crazy man to the long sea. So there are two original paintings by Leonardo da Vinci in the Hermitage Museum. And very often, you know, my clients ask me, Svetlana, what is like number one painting in the Hermitage? Because in the Louvre, it's probably what? Mona Lisa, Lisa right? So here I would say that we have two number one paintings. One of them is uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. The it's a 26 Rembrandt painting. So. And my name is a post of Professor So this is the Dutch collection. So this is the room where the provisional government uh, ran the country until they were arrested in the previous room. This is the Malachite room. Soviet Union, and that was the great achievement. And now we have very quick period of time, but uh, three million people were oppressed. This battleship took place in World War One. 
and in the Russian Revolution. summer house, the little dacha. And you can see all main features of the rock style. So the main staircase, the main entrance, and this reception hall, they remember Elizabeth, Peter the Great's daughter. So a lot of mirrors, a lot of candles, it's now possible in the traces. Wood carving, Chesma Bay. So you can see original paintings by German artists, this is the throne, and this is Catherine the Second, aka Catherine the Great. So this is the audience hall. Oh, this is waiting and waiting here. So here you can see all main features of the style through the mirror. You can see that it's kind of endless. Each imperial palace has a Chinese room or Japanese room or Turkish room. It was a very, very fashionable, very popular. So people didn't travel as much as the river. Right These are portraits of all the servants that they've had. So we are giving you the palace. So this is a big room. And here the palace is divided into two parts, official rooms, state rooms, which were used for receptions, and private rooms. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it the world room. So this is uh, the gardens of the Peter Hall. <laughs> oh, this would be nice. Finland. And 
this canal was built by Peter the Great to go all the way up to his palace. This is in the Victor Palace, we hear the concert. This is the palace of Prince Vladimir. Embark without a delay. 